Hey dancers, so this one is for my level twos. Um, we're gonna do a full at home class with this one. So I'm gonna start at the bar here today. We're gonna go through a full bar. We're gonna do some center work as well, but everything is designed to be something that you can do at home, in your living room, your bedroom, your kitchen, wherever you're at. Um, in terms of a bar, I would say if you have the back of a chair, if you have you know, a kitchen counter, um, a higher table that you can use, anything, maybe the back of a couch, something where you've got some space to work, some space to move your legs, um, and it's gonna give you a decent support. But just like we talk about in class, you shouldn't be relying too much and gripping on the bar anyways, right? We wanna keep a light touch to the bar. It's not your best friend. When you get to the center, we won't have it anyway. So making sure that you're not using too much pressure here at the bar. So what I'm gonna do is start parallel six position, two hands on the bar. We'll go through our normal warm up exercise, and then we'll get into our plies, tendus, and we'll go from there. So two feet together, relax your shoulders, bring yourself up to your full height, nice and tall. Light touch to that bar, dropping your head down and circle to the right. Again, four counts, all the way around. And switch other side. So we're going to work on pretty much the same one we typically do in class. Um, first, then second, and then fifth position. So from the first, we're going to take the left hand to the bar. If you remember, if you're seeing me right now flip-flopped, that may not look the same to you. It may look like this is my left hand to the bar, but right now I've got my left hand to the bar. My right leg will be my working leg. So we're coming into that first position here, five, six, with the arm, seven, eight. You've got two demi plies, arm in second, and lengthen, ground plie all the way down. Press through the heels to come up. We reach one quarter bra, that palm right comes over. Remember your hand comes after your head. Lengthen out to come up. And then take that releve, lifting the heels with straight knees. Open to second and repeat 
here, same thing, two demi plies in second, long arm around plie all the way through. We're going to take this one in towards the bar and lift one releve, lifting the heels coming down. Crossing into fifth, repeat the whole thing, two demis, one ground plie all the way through. The arm is going to come down and up, lifting up to go back with those shoulders even. And finish with your releve, not su su. So I'm just lifting my heels, coming back down. Into first, we'll take four plie releves and two, keeping the arm down, on ba, and held. Last one, holding it. Arms come into first, and just take that balance just to find your center, okay? So, left hand to the bar, first position. Feet are open, find that tri. Keeping your pinky toes flat, even weight on your big toe, pinky toe, and your heel. And demi plie. Stretch the knees, and two. Long arm reach down. Only lift your heels as high as you have to, press them right back down. And lengthen up and over, full quarter right down. And reach out to come up. Lifting releve, heels up. And keep the knees straight as you lower. Tondu to second. And again, demi plie. And stretch. Make sure that those knees are tracking right over your toes. Long arm and down. Follow the head through and open. Reaching out to come up and over. Turn your head over your shoulder and lift. And find that relevant. Press up. Lower down the straight knees, crossing to fifth. Make sure that your toe and the opposite heel are touching. Grand plie down. On that fully crossed fifth, maintain as much turnout as you have. The arm comes down and up, lift one inch taller to go up and back. And press to that releve. Rise up and slowly lower back to first. side. So what I'm going to do is just have you guys um, go through a quick change and I'm going to do this with you just kind of without talking. Okay guys? So right hand to the bar, same thing here.
and shake everything out. So we'll come into our next combination for tandus. Okay, dancers, so we're taking a quick tandu just to warm up the feet and the ankles a little bit more. I want you to come into fifth position. Remember, your single leg should be rotated first, so place that. Then place your outside working leg. I have my left hand to the bar, so my right leg will be working. You have five and six, arm up seven and eight with the head opening. Ta nu front and flex and point. Close at fifth. A one, ta nu, and two to the side. Same thing, Alisa Colin, flex and point. Close it back. A one, close front. A one, close back. Same thing as you change the arm long. Front, uh, flex and point here. I want you to close the fifth all the way, especially when you're in the back, we have that tendency not to close fifth all the way. Last time to the side, flex and point, close fifth, a one, and a two. Finish with that little plie, arms come down, and back up for your susu. So we're in a nice tight cross fit position here, bringing the arms up off the bar, see if we can maintain that balance. And then change to the other side, little detourne here, plie and stretch, the arm will come through, the center and back up to repeat other side, okay? So we're gonna go through right and left right away. No stopping or breaks in between. Find that fifth position, left hand to your bar. And the arm comes to first. And tongue and flex and point. Close fifth. Is what you're looking at here. 
So it's not an extreme head tilt, including the shoulders, just a slight. Okay, so singles each way, holding those degages and keeping those accents, okay? So here we go. Right foot front, arm goes first, and second. Tendu, lift, point, close, fit to the side, one, and lift, and point, and fit to the back, one, lift, point, and fifth, last one, side, single degages, one to the front, fifth, to the side, and to the back, and to the side, little plie sous sous. And here we go. Circular motion here. It is only 
from the leg. The hip joint are stay, stay nice and um, stable. Your pelvis isn't moving, it's not swiveling. Same thing we focus on in class and keeping the shoulders over your hips as we do this, okay? So find your right foot front. Fifth position, two hands on your bar, whatever you're using. Again, no preparation for this one. And we're gonna start slow, around three, four, quick, or five, six, and seven, a brush, and reverse, two, three, four, and a five, six, seven,
tuck center point with this one all the way through your full range of motion. Bring those feet flexed and parallel. We'll take our stretch forward. If you can grab the feet and pull back towards your face, hold that stretch right there. If not, just keep holding right out straight forward so you feel the hamstrings, the backs of the legs stretch. And point down through the feet, reach those arms up and over, and full stretch down this time.
I'm gonna roll back and cross one heel, one ankle over my other knee, grab underneath and pull in. So keep pulling this knee in towards your chest, towards your face, making sure that you feel the stretch in the outside of the hip that is crossed over the top. So I have my left ankle crossing over, so I should feel this in my left hip. If you need to, you can bring this leg all the way straight to bring it in a little bit closer, feel the stretch a little bit more, and come down. And same stretch on the other side. So shake both legs out a little bit. Again, knees to the ceiling, and cross this time, switch. I'm gonna cross my right ankle over my knee and grab my left leg to pull in. And hold this stretch. Again, every exhale, try to go a little bit further in your stretch. You can bring that leg all the way up to pull in just a little bit further. I feel this in my right hip on the outside. with 
your leg. One, up, two, extend, three, four, and one, two, lift your knee but not your hip, and to the back. And last one side. Fifth position, plie chasse through that fourth position, and point that right toe. Lift your arabesque. Just find now a space where you can really move. Um, and if you're using the back of a chair or something, just slide that out of your way and we're gonna get going. Okay, everyone, so now I'd like you to move your bar, come to your center. What we're gonna do here is start with our right foot front in fifth position. So if you were in the studio facing your mirror, your mirror in front of you, you would be on fast. Remember, you can see your whole face, you are on fast. So right foot is in the front. What you're going to take with the arms from that preparatory position is just a five, six, open to second, seven, eight. So you have tendu and lift and point, close fifth to the side, grand bat ma, same thing, and close fifth to the back, lift, point, and fifth to the side, lift, point, and fifth. So we're right back where we started with that right foot in front. You're going to step through to susu, find that fifth, plie. Bring the arms in with that passe on a flat foot. Close front again. Plie releve passe. Close front one last time before your plie fifth turn. Close back and repeat. Same arms. So you have the same thing on the left side. Point, lift, point, and close. Side, lift, point, and close. Back, lift, point, and close. Side, lift, point, and close. Left foot steps front to fifth. Come down, find that passe on a flat foot. Nice and turned out, close front again. Plie releve, close front again last time here. Plie, one fifth turn, close back and up. So remember, we're working with these on day or pirouettes as we have been in class, pushing that knee back immediately. And from fifth, we've been working on the front leg coming up and that front leg is the direction of your turn. So if my right knee is coming up, I'm going to turn to my right and close back. Okay, so this is all in the center, which is why you've been working on really maintaining your core at the bar, making sure that as we do our bar work, we're thinking about that belly button to the spine so that now when you come to the center, you've got that already, you're going to hold that and keep it, okay? And that'll be the key to your balance. So right foot in the front, find your fifth. Okay, here we go. Seven, eight, tendu one, and lift, point, and fifth. Watch you don't move the hips. To the back, tendu, lift, point, and fifth. Last one side. Close that right foot front. Step through and up. So what I want you to do first is, again, I might be a mirror of you, so if it looks like I'm doing it on the left, I'm actually doing it on the right. So I want you to just start by looking in front of you, finding your own mirror, what would be the mirror in our classroom. 
and remembering that you're going to start with the right foot in front for this. So this is quasi position. We are crossed, right? Quasi front, quasi devant, or quasi derriere would be back. Um, just a little bit of a terminology thing there. Make sure that you can still see that back shoulder and hip. You shouldn't be so far twisted that it goes away. So taking your en face position and just giving a little bit of a diagonal to this in your own square. Your right foot is front crossed, so we're in quasi. You're going to take that little breath here from the arms in prep. Seven and eight. First quarter bra one and two and three and four. Third goes one, and two, and three, and four. We're gonna take one plie, chasse to point that front leg, so we're in quasi devant front. Brush through first to the back, and lift that first arabesque, coming all the way up here. Little plie, pas de bourre, so we end just where we started with that right foot in front. A carte, just a little tendu to change. Okay, so then left foot in front, exact same thing here, taking that little breath from the top. One, and two, and three. Always following that outside hand. Third quarter bra comes up and over. And we have chasse to point, brush through. So my left leg goes up to arabesque, find that plie, pas de bourre fifth, and change to where you started. Okay, so shake it out, everybody. I'll do this with you guys, and I'll kind of talk you through as we go. So first things first, finding your quasi-crossed position, right foot in front, and keeping that fifth. All right, holding everything as crossed and as tight as you can. Arms are down, held on ba. <laughs> is directly over about 80 to 90 percent your front leg just a little bit of weight here on your back right leg just enough to push off and you can prep here with that third position rounded arm or flat straight I'm going to show you here but if you'd like to try here that's totally fine we've been working on both in class so give it a try with whatever you prefer from here we would turn towards our back leg keeping that spot straight forward as you go closing back and fifth now, if you don't close back in fifth, what's your second best option? If you miss it, what should you do? Do you remember? From our fourth position, we worked on a little bit of landing back and pulling into close if we need to, but I really want you guys to keep working on that fourth turn to fifth position close your back. So just like a fifth turn, you would close your passe in the back not in the front, okay? So we're starting this with our en face straightforward position, right foot front, five, 
six, seven, eight. You have three tendus each way with a demi plie in fifth. One and two and three and a plie fifth to the back and two and three. This one plie arms down. We are going to chasse point that right leg, find your fourth, and take one turn from fourth to close back. Whoa. Try for that fifth. If you miss it, slide it in. Okay, then same thing on the left. So you have one and two and three, plie and fifth. One, two, three, plie and fifth. Three tendus to the back, plie, chasse to point, left heel and foot places flat down, and take that single pirouette, close back. Okay? This may be a combination that you want to try and work through two or three times. So once we're done, feel free to press stop, press pause, rewind it, go right back to where we just started with this combination and work through it again, okay? So let's find our fifth on fast. Okay. 
Hey dancers, shake out those legs. Now, if you want to watch through this once and then practice it yourself, or if you want to give it another go, just pause, rewind, and take your balance A section one more time, okay? Okay, everyone, working on some small jumps next. So what I want to do is kind of mimic what we do in class. We obviously can't really do our grand jetés, our huge soda shots. Um, so those grand allegro steps are going to have to wait till we're back in the studio all together. But we can work on some jumps and we can work on our cardio endurance that way. So what I want you to do is, as we would in class, start with the right foot front in fifth for our warm-up jumps. So you have arms down, we want you don't shake here, bring the arms out and in, right there, held and controlled. So you have four changements in fifth to begin. Jump close back, close front, close back, close front. And then four jumps in first. So take one and two and three and four. Again, cross and two and three and four and first and first, first and first. Three sets of this all together. And first, two, three, four. Finish out with that deep plie and stretch it out to finish your step, okay? So four and fifth, changement. Four and first for sautés, and we repeat that three times. Okay, everybody? So right foot in the front, arms are down and held. Here we go. And changement. One, two, three, four, and first. First, first, first again, fifth, 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 and first. Last one. Really plié. Bend, bend, and finish your step. Okay, shake it out. Good work, ladies. Take a stretch if you need to. Okay, dancers, and one more small jump section here. I just want you to do this three sets through as we did with the last one, again, for your endurance, for your cardio. We're working on just first position and second with some Asian pays and some sautés. So keeping your hands low throughout this beginning, I want you to really maintain the turnout. Watch you don't jump in parallel sixth position or parallel second here. You're really in first and you're in second. So you've got jumps from here, seven, eight, and second. Sauté twice in second. Bring it back down twice in first. A chape, close first. A chape, close first. So it looks like this. You have one and two, first, one and two. A chape, close. A chape, close. So remember those A chapes, we're not jumping jacks. Out and in. First to second, close in. First to second, close in. Okay, so you've got two jumps in second, two in first, a chape, a chape, second, second, first, and first, out, and out, okay? We are going to try this again, three full sets. Make sure you don't forget about your core, your back, don't be bobbing front and back or side to side here, okay? Maintain that strong center. Alrighty, first position, here we go. Second, one, two, first, one, two, dish up, hey, and two, again, second, second, first, first, last step, second, second, first, first, okay, and shake it out, good work, ladies, good, okay, everyone, petite jeté, so this is going to be really a great exercise for you guys to do at home. Um, because when we talk about the step in class, we really accentuate that you are not really traveling front or side to side with this. Remember that as you do these, I want you to think about traveling up and up. So it's all about the jump upward in that direction, and that's how you should be focusing on traveling. Now, because you're home, because you're in probably a smaller space, you really cannot go too much side to side or forward as you do this. You've got to think up. Um, it's almost like you're doing these right in place and not moving. So you're beginning with that right foot back. We're going to take it to the right. Your left foot jumps and lands back. One sauté here. It's all the way. So you have a one and up. And then we have four petit jetés in a row. One, two, three, four. Same thing again. So all you're doing with this one is just keeping the arms low and held. One and up. Two and up. One, two, three four. Okay, we're going to try this just like we've been working on three sets and we'll finish with a little bit of a calf stretch back and back. Okay, so right foot back, find yourself some space and here we go. To the right and left and four in a row. Again, right, left, one, Two, 
three, four, last set. Up, think up. One, two, three, four. Okay, shake it out. Come into your parallel, stretch the calf back. And switch other side. Parallel six, stretch your calf back. Okay, my dancers, so for our last jump that we're going to work on in our own space at home is pas de chat. And what I think we're going to do is just take four across. So find yourself a little bit of space where you have just a slight movement and opening side to side here so that you've got a little bit of space to do this. I'm going to begin here with my right foot crossed in fifth in front. I'm on face. And as we take this, remember that third position we've been working on, the same direction we're moving that arm comes forward. So what I'm gonna do is move to my right. I'm Padasha in right, left, and close my left foot in front. Right, left, close my left foot front. Right, left, and close. And right, left, and close. When you finish that sequence for Padashas, step out to the right, left foot closes front, Susu fifth. Just find that head to the audience. Walk around yourself, just a touch, and come into that left foot front fifth position arms prepared. So you take the same thing on the other side. Left, right, close it front. Left, right, pas de chat. Three and four. Step out to the left for that susu fifth. Just take that little walk around yourself and finish where you started fifth position. Okay? So let me create a little bit more space here and I'll move back and touch so you guys can see me. So right foot front, fifth. We are crossed. Seven, and eight is your prep. Make sure your head is looking that same direction we're going. So the first direction is to the right. Okay, everybody, right foot front. And on a shot. Two, three, four. Step out fifth. Around yourself. Left foot front. And one. Left, right. everybody we're gonna finish with our rev arounds just as we do in class so everybody come into that first position on fuss